All right, so I have a question, right? What the hell happened to scream mode? Like, genuinely, I, wasn't this scream mode added when Namek Goku came out? I, I believe this was the last one to have come out as well. Unless the Rising Battle Broly happened after this, I believe this was the last scream mode to come out, which means it's been exactly one year since the last scream mode came out. And hell, what even happened to hard mode? I don't understand why they decided to revamp the Raditz event instead of giving us a hard mode. When was the last hard mode? Like Kid Boo? I believe I believe Kid Boo was the last 50 battle event to have a hard mode attached to it. Why did they just abandon the higher difficulties? I mean, it's not like it actually made anything more difficult, if we're being completely honest. And like I don't, I don't understand why they just abandoned the whole concept of doing that. Like, I've been waiting for the longest for this Vegeta event to get a Scream difficulty. I would love for the Nappa and the Raditz events, you know, OG day one events, to get a Scream mode. Like, I, I would absolutely love it. And on the subject of, you know, a, a hard mode, if this thing ever wants to load, what? So they, they just added hard mode for part four. I know, we're on part 8, which was only 6 stages. Real, real quick, real quick side rant. Um, why do they always hype up the story so much just for you to finish it within 15 seconds? They, like, they, they always hype up story mode so much, and then when they add something new, you can literally complete everything they added in 5 minutes. If that. And that's if you actually re and that that's with reading the damn dialogue. I don't read the dialogue, I just do the stages, and I genuinely like went through what they added to part eight in under five minutes. And it's just like really? I, I legitimately spent more time trying to put weird teams together so I could use random characters than I did actually playing the damn game. If you're gonna hype up your story mode, actually add something, would you? <laughs> But get, getting back to the topic, they, they they say hard mode, right? In what universe are level 2,000 units hard? In case you can't tell, I'm rocking level 5,000 units here. I mean, hell, we're, we're, we're on power level, okay? Okay, normal level. See, level 5,000. Level 5,000. Oh, apparently I'm filtered on Vegeta family. Everyone, level 5,000. All, all the units in my box, level 5,000. So explain to me how fighting level 2,000 opponents is supposed to be hard. Like, even for a new... like even, even if it's supposed to cater to new players, new players are also using level 5,000 units. They may not have as many as I do, but they, they're still using level 5,000 units. All they need do is put a singular hero unit in here, and boom! You don't even need Super Saiyan God Shallot. You don't even need Super Saiyan Shallot to beat hard mode. Base form Shallot can beat your, your damn hard mode on part four nonetheless. We're halfway through where we are in the actual story on hard mode. First of all, wasn't part three's hard mode like 15 months ago? Why does it take you so long to make hard mode, and why is it not hard? I, I'm expecting every single opponent to be level 5,000. Every last one of them should be level 5,000. If it's truly a hard mode, I should not have a 3,000 level lead on the opponents. What is hard about that? And they didn't even add all, all of the damn thing. You guys have been working on this for what, a year? It's been a year since the last hard mode and you couldn't even add all of part four? You add six stages to part eight and then you do, you do like half of uh, part four for hard mode. What What is this lazy BS? Like, I, I feel like they don't actually give a damn about the story. Even though that's a lot of people's main source of crystals. Like, we need story to come out faster but they're not actually concerned about the game itself they just want to churn out units so that they can make money right they, they don't actually give a damn about you know the game its events or its story 
They, they just want to churn out units. They, they want to make, you know, five units every two weeks so that they can get people to spend money. That's where their main focus is, and that's why there's absolutely no effort put into the hard mode of things. There's very little effort put into the actual gameplay of the story. I'm sure the actual story itself is fine. I hear the story is pretty good. But when it comes to the actual gameplay, it's just, okay, autoplay. It's not engaging whatsoever. <laughs> like, and again, hard mode, not hard. It's just as easy as normal mode. When it comes to the story events, what happened to scream mode? I mean, it's not like scream mode is any more difficult, but I mean, when this came out, this was difficult. When this came out, the level cap was 3000. Think about that. When this came out, the freaking level cap was 3000. I don't even remember when that was. It was a year ago. <laughs> like this Android 20 event. How many times have you brought this Android 20 event back? Literally, like legitimately, how many goddamn times have you brought this event back? No screen mode. This cell, he doesn't come back as often, but he's come back a handful of times. No screen mode. This is your hard mode. Again, this was released when the level cap was 3,000. I, I think they're under the impression that that's still the level cap. Like, honestly, aside from the 50 battle events, I think they, they honestly believe that the level cap is still freaking 3,000. Because everything is centered around you being at level 3,000. Every story event, the hard mode of the story events, the hard mode of the story itself, it all seems to be centered around you being at level 3,000 and not 5,000. And it just, it makes no sense. But they know you're at level 5,000 because Raditz, everyone's level 5,000. It's not, it's not like the 50 battle events are structured that way. So why is everything else structured that way? Why do they have no concept of what's actually hard? And why are they just outright refusing to add hard mode to things? Again, you didn't even need to revamp the Raditz event. Just add a hard mode to it. Just give us battles. Just give us another 50 battles. What would you do? I mean, all they did in the past was just raise the level. Give us more opponents per fight. You know, instead of the first, the first boss being level 1500, maybe the first boss is level 3500. And I mean, it goes up to level 5,000, but instead, instead on this first boss, instead of just fighting one Raditz, you fight three Raditz or two, what have you. Just add more opponents. Since you can't raise the level, make us fight more opponents. It's not, it's not that, you know, hard of a concept. It's, it really shouldn't be anyway. I don't know. It's, <laughs> they, they could be doing so much more with PvE and they just refuse to. And the few times they do add something to PvE, it's usually the laziest BS that looks like it should have been released two years ago. Like with the Turles event, the Turles story event that came out not too long ago. Its challenge battle had like level 3,500 units. And it's like, really? That, that's a challenge to you. Who the hell is playing this game right now where a level 3,500 CPU is a challenge in, by, by any means? When one of the easiest missions is getting 20 million Rising Rush damage, there's a problem. That means your, your opponent is severely underleveled. It, it, just, it just makes no sense. And again, it's not even catering to new players. They have access to, five, to level 5,000. It's just as easy for them as it is for me. I just have more variety on who I do it with. PVE is just, uh, just in, it, at this point, honestly, it's more of an abandoned thing. The only reason why I'm ranting about it now is because I do see that they've been making improvements to the game. And I want PVE as a whole to get more improvements. 
PVE is the main source of chrono crystals as well. There needs to be more stuff to do. And I mean, for a lot of people, they only play PVE. And the game doesn't exactly offer a lot of PVE content. But all they gotta do is copy and paste the same damn stages and just add more, just add one extra enemy and maybe a bit more health to each to each of the uh, opponents. That's all you have to do. Slap the scream uh, difficulty on it. Give us maybe one or two new equips so there's a you know a good reason to do it. And there you go. It's not that difficult. Stop focusing on trying to release 10 units a month and focus on the actual content in your game. Anyway, I'm pretty much done with this rant. <laughs> if you agree with anything I said in this video, do make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see all of you inmates back here at the asylum for the next video. Peace.